Okay, we are going to move from uh, cryptography as such to cryptanalysis. And as I have mentioned before, cryptanalysis, uh, the point of cryptanalysis is cracking codes, not making them, um, decoding secrets, violating authentication schemes, um, uh, trying to uh, commit an undetected violation of integrity, um, uh, breaking the cryptographic protocols. Now, of course, some people are going to use the breaking of a cryptographic protocol in order to improve that protocol and to, uh, you know, try and make it better. But that's not the point. The point is to break it uh, any way you can. And, oh, there are a lot of ways of doing uh, cryptanalysis. Um, uh, well, it's, I mean, right back where we started from, talking about the history, there is, um, uh, you know, we, we talked about uh, the Caesar cipher, very simple substitution cipher, and a fairly simple attack against that uh, is frequency analysis. Um, looking at uh, the, you know, what's the uh, most frequently used character, okay? For a simple substitution cipher, that probably means it's the letter E if you're dealing with the English language. Um, and then there's, I mean, we can uh, do a lot more statistical and mathematical work involved in that. Digraph analysis, what two uh, letters come uh, together most frequently in English? What three letters? Trigraph analysis. Um, and uh, as I say, you know, there's, there's a bunch of mathematical um, uh, attacks, uh, means of, of cryptanalysis, uh, that we can use. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about, uh, some of them, uh, in a bit. Uh, so, um, the frequency analysis, uh, but of course, uh, the big one, uh, the one that always works except against the one-time pad if you use the one-time pad properly is uh brute force and uh you know you can always you, you know just try every possible key and that uh you know you will if it unless it's a one-time pad well of course you know it's a one well it's a one-time pad uh you can uh, actually, you know, generate everything, and you will eventually find the right key. Um, but it's you can never verify that that is in fact the right key, and that you've got the right message out of it. Even if you get a message out of it that uh, appears to be English and calm, you know, uh, cohesive and and correct, um, but. Uh, brute force, yeah, you know, starting with the simple Caesar cipher, uh, we just try, um, you know, all 26 variations on, on moving through the alphabet. And, uh, you know, that, that is a fairly, uh, simple, uh, exhaustive test to do when we're dealing with, uh, a brute force attack. Um, there are others, uh, and, you know, just, uh, well, okay, even, uh, Feistel Cipher's Des, um, you can try, uh, all 56-bit keys and see which one works, um, and that, uh, yes, that, that becomes, uh, a brute force attack, and, and, I mean, we've already, seen that that is successful against Des um, when it first happened, uh, as I say, multiple uh, machines, a sort of a distributed uh, attack there, um, exhausting the 
uh, the address space and, and you know, eventually coming up with the right key. Um, but we, uh, you know, there, there should be, well, <laughs> there shouldn't be. If we have properly implemented a proper uh, protocol, um, we, we shouldn't have anything that is easier um, than a brute force attack. Uh, but mm, different uh, protocols there are going to be. Um, now, we, we always assume uh, certain things. We, we assume in, in uh, terms of, uh, well, cryptology in general, um, that the enemy knows what algorithm you're using. You know, that's just Kirchhoff's law. You know, don't rely on the secrecy of the algorithm, rely on the secrecy of the key. Um, we assume that the adversary knows what language you are talking about. Uh, we assume that the adversary has uh, some uh, samples of your uh, plain text. Now, of course, we, we know that the adversary has some examples of your cipher text because, of course, we're transmitting that and, and that's why we're using encryption in the first place is because somebody is, you know, able to read our traffic and get the cipher text. Um, so, from these, uh, we come up with uh, different types of attacks that uh, uh, give us an easier time of it than just simply brute force. There, you know, there are different ways and means of attacking uh, the, uh, the encryption that the adversary is using or that the adversary is using to attack the, uh, the cryptography, the, the protocol, the algorithm that we are using. So uh, we are going to get into that uh, well, shortly.